Hi, and welcome BTEC Construction to the topic called foundations. As you'll know, the most important aspect of building a house is the foundation. And this is a part that takes all the load bearing structure, but it's also the part that gives your house stability. We've got the low stakes quizzes that will happen at the start of the PowerPoint per usual, but also we've got the answers for you for once you've done the questions, give it a go, see what some of the answers are. Okay, what is a function of a foundation? Well, the foundation, as you can see in front of the pictures, there is something wrong with these buildings. These buildings have both had subsidence because their foundation has moved and it's caused substantial collapse of the building. So the foundation is a very, very important aspect of the house. The foundation is to support the added weight of the house. Now there are different kinds of foundations depends on the kind of soil that you have. There's also different kinds of foundations depending on where you are building and how close you are building your foundation is to the bedrock, to the actual ground. Now then, there are different kinds of foundations. There's a strip foundation, which you often see on a modern build, which is a very basic strip of concrete, which is used for the external walls and on sometimes it's used for the internal walls. There's something called a deep strip, which is a lot deeper down, a lot more concrete is used. Rather than digging six foot down, they'll dig a very, very deep. You see the taller you're building, the deeper the foundations. There is something called the raft foundation, and this is used quite often if you want to spread the weight of the building. If you've got some very heavy machinery that's going to go into that building, it's going to affect any other kind of foundation. The raft foundation is very good if you are not sure what the soil is like, and it gives the building extra stability so it does not sink. Also, we've got the short bore piles, and if the soil is unstable, you can dig it up again. And we also have the pad foundations. Have a look at the pictures in your revision guide. Have a look at the videos. Also, there's some key words that you're going to come across when you're going to do these drawings. We've got the damp proof course, we've got insulation, ground level, steel reinforcements, and concrete. These are the words that you want to look up. You really do want an understanding of what these words are, why we would use them, especially what is the function of the damp proof course. That is a question that's come up on so many exam papers. Okay, so have a go, label the type of foundations. It is, it is important that at least one of your GCSE exam questions will always be about sketching and drawing. And you have to be able to draw at least one type of foundation. Don't get me wrong, once you've drawn one foundation, you can pretty much draw them all. Once you can do an external wall, an internal wall, the damp proof course, which is different than the damp proof membrane, the damp proof course, then you've got the concrete and the strip foundation. There's a range of quizzes and questions that happen straight afterwards. Have a look at that, give them questions go. It's important that you do try out these questions. They are linked to your exams. Same as always, core and else. I can't explain this enough. This will change your GCSE grade. So give it a go, try them out. Try these core and else and see how you get on. Last but not least, if you've got any questions per usual, please do email me and I will get back to you straight away.